Hey everybody, this is SkyTrack13, meteorologist Sean Ash. I hope you're making the most of this cool, damp Mother's Day and Happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. We appreciate uh, you taking care of the most important job in the world. Let's get started with the forecast here. And I will tell you, uh, heading into the weekend, we definitely thought today would be drier. Everything's shifted to the northeast. Uh, the rain is uh, over for the most part this evening. I'm not going to rule out a stray shower, but... Uh, clouds are generally going to have a little more bark than bite, but there might be some raindrops every now and then. Nothing compared to what we had earlier today. Temperatures uh, settling into the 50s for the most part, and quite a change over the last 24 hours, about 10 to 15 degrees cooler. So uh, we'll play through future track 13. Again, mostly dry this evening, but expect the rain and thunder to ramp up around and just after midnight. And once again, it's probably going to target the 70 and 74 corridors. You're going to hear some thunder tonight, nothing severe, but there will definitely be some downpours of rain between, say, midnight and the time you work up tomorrow morning. Now, exactly where this band that's going to be tomorrow morning, uh, where it's going to set up, that's to be determined, but there will be some areas that are going to have to drive through some rain tomorrow morning. Our evening's dry, and um, with the most part, again, a couple of sprinkles are certainly possible, but it's, it's after midnight when we start to hear the thunder ramp up. And then we'll get you cranking here with temperatures tomorrow morning in the 50s. If it's not raining, it might be misty in some areas of fog. There will be waves of showers and thunderstorms. may not rain all day tomorrow, but there will be some thunderstorms to navigate. Some of those are going to be heavy, and it may more than likely impact the opening practice at IMS tomorrow. If you're planning on heading out, gates open at 10, they will close at 6 think we'll get some laps in, but it might not be the world's driest day in the next 72 hours doesn't look that way. As the general consensus is between now and by midday Thursday, we're probably staring down about uh, an inch of solid rain over a good portion of the viewing area with locally higher amounts on the docket. Here we go as Future Track 13, we get into Tuesday, we get a little bit warmer and a little more unstable and that's going to put severe weather back in play wouldn't even rule out a severe storm tomorrow but it's uh it's a low risk at this point in time if we get enough sunshine and enough warmth on tuesday we might have to up the ante a bit for severe weather potential so here's the latest uh, skytrack 13 seven day forecast we are going to have daily chance of showers and storms tuesday pretty likely thursday pretty likely and then you will notice a substantial cool down next weekend, highs in the 50s, and we'll keep an eye out for shower chances for the Chase 500 Festival Rookie Run on Saturday. Join us tonight after hockey. I'll have a complete wrap up and of course weather around the clock, WTHR.com and our free mobile app. Have a great evening and again, happy Mother's Day.